Hey everybody, back with more Corpse Party, more boringness, oh god, so boring. Anyway, let's go talk to her and just see what happens. Hi. Oh, hey, there. I'm not a ghost, shut up. It's okay, calm down, I'm a friend. Are you alright? Please help me. Please help me. Please! Her front tooth is missing. It doesn't look like an accident. My, uh, my name is Mochida. Mochida. Moch yeah, Mochida. I'm an 11th grade student at a school called Kisaragi Academy. And you are? My, my name is Toko... Kirisaki. I'm an 11th grader at Byakuten High. Okay, and may I ask how you got here? There was, there was this charm from the internet, and we tried it. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do weird charms on the internet, kids. And all of us were brought here. We're brought here. A charm, same as us, son. They all said they tried to get out of here together, but then one of them, y Yuka, went out of his mind, and he, he, he pushed one of my friends down the stairs and killed him. Is that, is it, could that be, the, is that the same guy that's with the Mo, 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 Mochida, Mochida's sister? Then, with a smile on his face, he started playing with his bo with the body. Ew! I ran as quickly as I could. That's horrible. Everyone, everyone's going to go crazy in here. Like I am. I can't trust anyone. Go, get away from me. Oh, okay, I'll go. Just please try to stay calm. Get away! And then she tries to kill me. But I want to help. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Don't want, okay, well. Hmm. Okay. That was interesting. So, um. Is this the way to go? Okay, no, wrong way. Um. Hmm. So, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> Uh, back and forth, back and forth we go. Trying to find out where to go. Guess we can go this way. No, we cannot go that way. Shit. Ugh, this school. Worse than Silent Hill. At least Silent Hill lets you go certain places, right? Uh. Uh. Nowhere there. Right. Mm -hmm. I know what I need to do. I need to get that thing. I wish I. How come it wouldn't let me read the damn text? You know. It said that he read the whole thing, but it didn't tell us what it said. So what? He could read it, but we can't read it. That's kind of selfish. All right. Let's try to talk to her again. Since we can't really go anywhere else but downstairs. Watch her just say, get away. Yep. Have you, have you come to kill me too? No, I have not come to kill you. No, of course not. Get a hold of yourself. We just talked, remember? I ain't done with my homework yet. So you, so you think I'm just going to sit back and let you kill me? So wait, she wants to do her homework first? She's got a pair of scissors. Oh shit. And I'm fucking dead. Yay! Fantastic! I'm so sorry. Now you're sorry. My god, I've been stabbed. Ugh. But I'm okay. 
How is that possible? Wait, he's okay. When Satoshi found Seiko's cell phone, he went to put it in his pants pocket, but Naomi's was already there, and there wasn't enough room for both. So he put it in his breast pocket instead. And that just so happened to be the exact spot where Toko's scissors duck him, struck him. Psycho's cell phone had absorbed the blunt of the impact. Shinohara. Shinohara. Oh my God. Are you okay? What the hell is wrong with you? Smack her across the face. I guess not. Where did you get these scissors anyway? Satoshi threw the pair of scissors onto the corner of the room. Into the corner of the room. I'm reading, trying to read too fast. Um, it's no use. She's too far gone for conversation. I want to die. Please don't kill me. Well, okay. I wish Miss Yue was here. Yeah, me too, because she was a cutie. Miss O? Are you, what? Whoa, it's Miss Yue. Yui sensei. W wishes do come true! I can't believe I was just thinking about you. Naked in the shower. Like that one day. And you won't you die. You were in trouble just now, weren't you? I feel so bad for Nakashima and Shinohara. But I'm just so grateful to see that you... That at the very least, you're still safe and sound. Miss Yue... Yes, start crying. You've done very well. Now, come, we'll look for Yuka and the others together. Like a team. I'm so tired. Yeah, I know you're tired. What the fuck? Alright, I can use this door, like a bridge. Huh? I don't know how, but I made it out in one piece. Oh, this is how she got out. Wow. Went right through, literally right through the floor. Sure hope nobody was down there. Eh. Oh, that's right, she had the thing fall on top of her. And crush her and shit. Really hurts. Right arm is broken, completely dislocated. So wait, is it is it broken or is it dislocated? Because a dislocated shoulder is not the same as a broken arm. Feels like it's clinging together by muscles and sinew alone. God, it hurts so much. Have to hold it together with my hand. Ooh, okay. Come on, you got this. Shinazaki, Kishinuma, Kishinuma, Yuma, Kishinuma, please be okay. I'm coming to find you. I'm coming to find you all. And then we can have nice sexy bath time together. Mr. Yamazaki, what? You say your students aren't listening to you. I just don't know what to do. Flashback. I feel like I've lost the will to teach. Hmm. Hmm. I receive emails from the parents and guardians every single day. They say I'm a teacher who gets no results, that I'm useless. Going over my head, straight to you, that's terrible. I'm the homeroom teacher here. I should be the one answering to them. This is my fault for always going away on business trips and leaving you to fend off the woes on your own. They must have given you hell. I'm so sorry. Parents can be so cruel. No, I'm the assistant homeroom teacher. It's my duty to attend the class in your absence. In fact, it's been my honor to have you trust me with your students. It's just that lately... There are a bunch of butts. No matter what I say, every lesson in class 2-9 or 2-4 
makes a joke out of it. I mention butts and they start laughing. Talk about butt cracks and butt holes, but really I'm just talking about the word butts. And if I react too strongly, they all start to talk back. Oh, oh my. So they're a bunch of ungrateful little shits, huh? But I don't blame the parents. The bottom line is that what's important. It's all about results. And what I want, most of all, is for these kids to get good grades for their own futures, if nothing else. And if they get good grades, then maybe their parents will leave me alone. Maybe. Hmm? I want you to close your eyes and think back. Fucking yards, man. That's how boring this game is to me. <laughs> when you think back, close your. I want you to close your eyes and think back. Hmm? Think back to what? <laughs> to your students, of course. Every day, you give 110% for them. And you know as well as I do that some of them truly appreciate it. Any guesses which ones? You really think any of them care? Absolutely. Actually, someone should. Now, how about Shinozaki? We usually hate her teachers. She's in the staff room asking you questions every day. And Kish Kishinuma, who almost never came to school at all last year, has been here at least four times each week since you started. Never thought I'd see the day. The students have taken notice, and they appreciate you. Believe me, they don't hate you one bit. Not all of them, anyway. But even if that's true, I still don't get results. I mean, they may like me, but if they don't get the grades to back it up, their parents never will. More importantly, if my students can't get good grades, then I failed them as a teacher. It's true that things may look different. <sighs> Excuse me. It's true that uh, blah 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 different from parents' point of view than than they do from the school. And a student's ability to excel is indeed of the utmost importance. But the way I see it is that means the means through which you teach those students is just as important as the material they learn. In fact, it may even be more important. We only get these children for three short years. During that time, one must wonder, did they enjoy their classes? Will they remember them as valuable, meaningful experiences? After all their, after all their worries, resolutions, life lessons, then moments of personal growth. Will they look back at these three years in graduation and say, I really enjoyed this school? No! Because school sucks. Ensuring that they do this is as much as a part of the part of the teacher's job as the material she teaches. School's important, but school can still suck. That's all I'm saying. And it's not just Shinazaki and Kishinoma. Think about Shinohara, whose home life had really been getting down, her down. And Nakashima, after they met you, their smiles seemed to get a lot brighter. Shinohara? <laughs> She's got a real knack for hiding her true feelings, doesn't she? What can I do? What can I do for my students? As soon as you start asking yourself that question without even thinking about it, then you're a bona fide teacher through and through. In fact, I'd even say that once you reach that point, you've proven the, that education is in your nature, basically that you were born to teach. And no one can take that on our way, except a haunted school that's possibly actually alive. So how about you reclaim what's rightfully yours? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> it's remarkable how little you change from when you were a student here yourself. Whenever you had something on your mind, you'd always seek my guidance with eyes wide and full of tears. Aww. You shouldn't strain yourself so much. 
君もじっくり楽しむんだ Enjoy what you do and get to spend every precious day with a whole host of interesting youth. Wait till you get to your first graduation and have somebody tell you thanks for everything, teach. It's the best feeling in the world. I'll get in contact with the parents and guardians and try to set them straight. And tomorrow, or whenever you're like, you, we can go over some lesson plans together to help ensure we get the students to their graduation safe and sound and not inside of a haunted building up that used to be a school full of psychopathic children and possibly a psychopathic maniac who wants to hammer their brains in. <laughs> Um, hmm? Thanks for everything, Teach. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Teach. You bet. You know, that's another great feeling. Being able to pass the torch and rely on one of your own student, your old students to keep your affairs in order. I feel like I've been dreaming for a long time. Like I've been dead? A terrible, ominous dream where Nakashima and the others all lost their lives. I wonder where I am. It's limbo. Oh shit. Don't you understand the gravity of the situation? Go, now! Oh shit. Now I remember. I got buried in rubble after that. Shinazaki, I hope you were able to- I hope you were able to get out safely. What can I do for my students? As soon as you start asking yourself that question without you thinking about it, then you're a bona fide teacher through and through. I guess I did finally become a little more like the teacher I wanted to be. But it hasn't even been a year. I can't move my body. Can't even feel my lower half. Everything below my neck paralyzed. It's so dark, so lonely. I wanted to live just a little longer. Am I crying? I am almost dead, and here I am, crying. I don't look like most of my teachers very much, but I love Miss Shishido. She feels almost like a big sister to me. Hey, Miss Yoe, is it true that you have a cat? Is it true you have a cat? I was thinking of adopting this little guy, but I'm not sure how to go about it. Here, have a look. Oh god, her. <laughs> look at this little fat fucker. <laughs> uh, that reminds me of my girlfriend. <laughs> Miss Yue, about that floppy, floopy droopy panda? Necklace you've got. Are you wearing it right now? It's hard to tell. Wow. That was quite a punch. <laughs> Miss Yui, I, I'll, I'll write you once I get settled in my new school. Not just, not just now, but even after I grow up, I'll keep writing. Why don't you come visit? Oh wait, never mind. I just want you to always be my teacher. Would that be okay? Sensei, Yue, your bike chain came off today, no? Never seen you take a spill like that before. You looked so forlorn. 
it was kind of cute. Wow, he was hitting on his teacher. I wish you all the very best. Please don't die. Um, kind of late for that. Forge a pass for yourselves. Don't let your future slip away. Too late for a, a few of them. I'm so cold. Oh wow. Mom, Dad. I feel so alone. I'm scared. I'd be scared too. Extra end. What? So did I, did I screw something up? Okay. Well, I guess we'll end it there. I have no freaking clue what happened. But, um, apparently we didn't beat Chapter 4. Obviously. Um, till next time, I guess. Laters.